Most of us will have seen fantastically designed watches and a few of us will probably have seen fantastically designed cameras too. But how often do we see the two coming together? Well, you can hear this is the TAX AVL2 and AVL stands for Automatic Vintage Lens and this is number two in the range. TAX is a Japanese company and this is their second in their camera inspired watches. They make a variety of other very stylish timepieces. Um, the first AVL was a Kickstarter project in 2016 and this is going to be more widely available. We've had a good chance to see it before you're able to order it and it's stunning. This is, if you're a camera fan and a watch fan, then you're going to love the look of the AVL 2. Just drink in those camera details. Let's point out a few in case you've missed it. Look here where normally you'd see the diameter of the lens. Well, 47 millimeters here refers to the diameter of the case. Yes, a 47 millimeter watch, so it's not small. There's no minute uh, markings, but here you've got a 15, you've got a 28 just down here, and you've got a 50 just where you'd expect to see if you twist the focus ring here, just where you'd expect to see the uh, minute hands and the minute markings on a traditional watch face. You've got the two tone hands in the middle, and you can see the second hand running around there. If we turn the watch over, you also get a look inside and it is quite wonderful. Let's return to the front again. This is sapphire glass over the top here and it is slightly domed. There's also, you can see inside there's almost two pieces of glass and when you look at it front on you can see how it magnifies certain areas. It's a really unusual effect and of course makes it look exactly like a camera lens. So this is truly stunning. We love the machined edge around here, around the edge of the twist focus ring style bezel. The crown here is a screwing crown, so you unscrew it to adjust the time, and that keeps the watch water resistant. This is water resistant to 100 meters. There's further little details all around the side and on this side there's a little plaque. This one has a model number but you could get yours inscribed with whatever you like. So how does it fit when we put it on our wrist? You can see here this is a very thick Horween leather band. We've only been wearing this to be honest for a few hours and it's already wonderfully soft and pliable, the mark of very good leather. You can see there, this is large, but it's not ridiculously so. It actually is surprisingly wearable. You'd probably not squeeze it under a tight shirt cuff, but most situations you're gonna to want to show this off. So it's quite nice to have it poking out from a sleeve so that everyone can see the watch design, which we think is really fantastic. So you've got some tax branding here various different and it, actually if you look here you can see where this the black sides are here that resembles almost the front of a camera and obviously the the watch face lens itself and then you've got this little keeper here for the crown again looking very much like a shutter release on a camera it's really well thought out but what it isn't is over the top and we really like the fact that it looks like a watch first and a camera second it's not some tacky sort of novelty watch that would be fairly unpleasant. Instead, it's a really wonderful piece of technology and of sort of a, a homage to wonderful camera design mixed with wonderful watch design. And I don't think there's too many of that sort of thing out there. This is a luxury watch, so naturally you get a very flashy case. This is nice wood on here and you slide open case and inside is your watch and it comes wrapped like this with a lovely leather protector over the top of the sapphire 
glass cover, it's sapphire on the back, which hides the Miyota 82SO automatic movement inside. We want to wear this watch. That's something that's important to point out. Ever since it's come, we just want to make sure that it's on our wrist. We've had people already comment on how it looks, just purely because it is quite unusual. No one said, oh, that looks like a camera. They just think that's a really unusual watch. What is it? And if you're a watch fan, that's exactly the reaction that you want. Now what we don't know about the Tax AVL2 so far is the price. It's being held secret until release date, which is in early September. Judging by the Kickstarter project, it was $430, $450. So expect something similar for the new watch. We'll know for sure once it's properly announced. You can go and pre-order your interest in this now, so you don't have to obviously put down any money because there is no price yet, but you can register your interest ahead of time. We don't know if this is going to be a limited edition, but the original was. However, we think this is going to prove very popular indeed. That is the Tax AVL2 and the watch that camera and watch fans alike are going to want to put on their wrist.